All right, let's determine the equation of the tangent to the curve y is equal to x squared minus 1 over 4x plus 7 to power 3 at the point where x is equal to negative 2. So we know that the equation of the tangent is in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. And there's basically two things we need to find associated with this tangent. We need to find the slope of the tangent and the y-intercept. So we understand that the slope of the tangent is basically the first derivative or the rate of change of this function y with respect to x. Right, um, And in this case, uh, when we're doing this, we also need to find the slope of the tangent at x is equal to negative 2. Okay? So when we're finding the derivative, I'm going to be utilizing chain rule. So first I'm going to use the power rule on the outside. So you have 3x uh, squared minus 1 over 4x plus 7 to the power 2. Okay? Then you do the derivative of the inside. So you have x squared minus 1 over 4x plus 7. Okay, and you can notice here that the derivative of the inside is actually the quotient rule. Okay, so we're going to have to use the quotient rule separately here. So I'm going to do that out on the second line, then basically integrate it back. So um, in this case, I'm going to do, when I'm doing the quotient rule, I'm going to do the derivative of the numerator, x squared minus 1, uh, times denominator, 4x plus 7 minus the derivative of the denominator, 4x plus 7, right, I'm just going to put brackets around this to separate it, times the uh, derivative of, uh, times the numerator, so x squared minus 1, over the denominator squared, so you get 4x plus 7 squared, if I clean this up, you know what, let's move that a little bit here, x squared minus 1 over 4x plus 7. This is going to give us um, derivative of x squared minus 1 is 2x times 4x plus 7 minus derivative of 4x plus 7 is 4 times x squared minus 1. Right, and then this is over the 4x plus 7 squared. So you basically get 8x squared plus 14x minus 4x squared plus 4. Okay. And you just collect the like terms, right? So I'm still kind of working with the numerator. So you have this over 4x plus 7 squared, right? Yeah, you can see that it kind of gets tedious. I'm going to collect this and this. These are the two like terms. So you have 8x squared minus 4x squared. You have 4x squared plus 14x plus 4. Okay? And this is over the 4x plus 7 squared. Okay, so this is basically me finding the derivative of the inside as accordance with chain rule. And now what we have to do here is, therefore, dy over dx is this guy, 3 times x squared minus 1, whoops, x squared minus 1 over 4x plus 7. It's squared times 4x squared plus 14x plus 4 over 4x plus 7 squared. Now, what you want to do here is you want to solve for the tangent at x is equal to 2. You want to find the slope of the tangent at x is t equal to 2. So I'm going to erase t there for a sign because I think that just kind of finalizes things. But we're not done the question yet. So we're going to plug in x is equal to 2 into your derivative function. And you should get um, 3 times uh, 2 squared minus 1 over uh, 4 times 2 plus 7. And you're going to square this whole thing. Okay, times 4 times 2 squared plus 14 times 2 plus 4 over 4 times 2 plus 7 squared. Okay, so I'm just going to crunch all that out. I kind of got a little messy there, so maybe we could see if I could fix this a little bit. Alright, so this was what? x squared? Wow. Okay, so I plugged in 2 here. Okay, so just thought I'd make it a little bit more clear. So I'm just going to crunch all this out and I'm going to tell you guys what I get. I got 0 0.008533. Okay, so it's a very. Um, and it just kind of keeps going, right? So I'm just gonna have to round this off. Uh, let's just use two sigs or two sigma conditions. So 0 0.0085.
So your equation kind of looks like this. Y is equal to 0 0.0085x plus b. Excuse me. And now you need to find b. So you need to find an equivalent point. Well, we know that f of x, and pretend this is f of x. f of x is equal to x squared minus 1 cubed um, over 4x plus 7. Well, if I do f of negative 2, you get negative 2 squared minus 1, 4 times negative 2 plus 7 cubed, which is basically 3 over uh, negative 8 plus 1, negative plus 7 is negative 1 cubed, which is negative 27. So we're going to substitute uh, 3, negative 2, and negative 27 into the equation. So you get negative 27 is equal to 0 0.0085 times negative 2 plus b. I'm going to move this to the other side. So b here is equal to negative 26.983. Okay, so I'm just going to write the answer out here, but basically the equation is y is equal to 0.0085x. Uh, minus 26.983. And that's the